Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you how we can easily use Zoho Invoice. So the first thing that you want to do is just come to Zoho Invoice and create an account. Now if you already have an account guys, just skip this step. So we want to add a full name, email address, password and company name. Now I agree to terms, okay, and sign up for free. And as you can see, start creating invoices less than five seconds. While we set up your account, please remember to verify your account by clicking on the link we send you. So I will just come here. And I'm going to like confirm the account. Now organization name, business location Slovakia, choose your if you want to. Then you're going to see the state and province here. So I'm going to be Nitransky. Currency Euro, if you have dollars, just choose dollars. Language English, time zone. How are you managing invoicing currently? And uh, you choose like pen and paper, let's say. <laughs> I use other softwares and get started. And now we are in. So when you're going to enter Zoho invoice, you're going to see multiple things here. Right before how we can uh, create this invoice, I'm going to guide you what you're going to actually get from uh, Zoho. So first thing first, you would find your customers here. And we are going to, uh, when while we are going to create invoices, we are going to create a customer too. Items is the good and services that I'm going to show you how we can then add in your invoices. Estimates, again, you can that's before estimate before the invoice payments received and expenses and then we have like timesheets and reports so let's just start first to create customers and items and then we are going to create the invoice so first thing first click on customers when you're going to click on a customer let's create a new one And right here, I will just refresh this website only because I just verified my account. See, customers, primary contact, let's say Marcus customer. Company name, it's going to be uh, Sun Company. Sun Company is going to be the customer display name. Customer email is going to be, let's say, uh, Sun Company gmail.com work phone mobile and you can also add a website and then you see like other details here let's say you gotta have international uh, international customer you can choose to euro to something else tax rate you add it payment terms due on receipt or 15 days let's say Portal, give your customer access to portal to view transactions and make online payments. You can allow it or no. And portal language. Then you see like addresses here. You can have it so. Billing address. City. And state. It will be like this and country Slovakia. So this is how I do it, right? And we got it. Then contact person, if you have some, you can have it. Custom fields and remarks. Now I'm going to click save. And voila, here we have our first customer right here. So uh, then when we have the customer, let's create the item, what we are actually selling, what kind of product. And then we're gonna simply create an invoice then. So the next thing that we are going to do is how you can add items. Click new and you have option if it's going to be goods and or service. Let's say I'm creating YouTube video. So I'm going to have service YouTube video unit. It's going to be I don't know this one. 
if you have one unit and then selling price 100 euro and description let's say youtube tutorial videos and then what i have to do is click save and now let's create together an invoice click invoice and right here click new invoice or new recurring invoices so we got option to create a credit note invoice or recurring invoice we are going to look on also how we can create recurring invoice and then set your transaction preferences do you give discounts i don't give them if you have you will say it select any additional charges you would like to add adjustment shipping charges i'm going to leave it on so we can see how it works do you sell your items at a rate inclusive of tax tax exclusive and I want to add a field for salesperson. Disable, enable. Save, continue. And here I got it. So now I'm going to choose a customer. Then I'm going to add an invoice, which is going to be, let's say, invoice number one, order number. Then you're going to have the subject here. This is, let's say, YouTube video then okay i have it right here quantity 10 and i can add a discount i can add a tax if i have one i can create a new tax also next to the invoice date you're going to see the terms net 15 you can have net 30 net 45 net 60 and due date i got september but i can have it different if i want to so that's pretty good now you're going to see the youtube video here and everything the items of course you can add another line and you see it right here subtotal 1000 euro shipping charges zero adjustment zero total 1000 terms and conditions you can attach a file and then you can also i have received the payment and add some terms and conditions right here now we can email to or you can email to someone else and then save and send or like send save and print let's say and now one copy print and this is how the invoice would look like see so this is how you can create invoice and you can send it invoice or you can even change the template, you can edit template, you can update the logo and the addresses, you can do literally everything here. So when I'm going to click on customize here, I can change the template. Or what you can do is to edit the template. Or you can update the logo and addresses. So update lo your logo, your address and everything. So let's say I'm going to add a baby Yoda. And voila, here we have it, right? And then you can send the invoice PDF and it's going to download as PDF here. So you can send the mail. Mark send mark as recurring. So this is how we can do it. And you see plenty of options what you can do with your invoices. Now, the next thing that you can actually do and how we can work with it is when you're going to click on invoices, click plus here. Or you can create recurring invoice. So when I would come here to quick create. In sales, I can simply click recurring invoice. And again, there's really similar thing start on. And this is the only difference. I'm not going to really create it now. But this is how we can create it. Repeat every week, two weeks, two months, three months. Let's say I'm going to be every one, every month. Start on August, ends on, let's say June, or never expires. And then this invoice would be sent to them every single month on 18th of August, on 18th of September, 18th of October, November, and December until it expires. When I say it's going to expire. So this is pretty much it, how we do it. Now to go even further, what you can do is when you would click again on the quick create, you can create estimates here. 
Give this page. Here again, you can select the customer, have an estimate, reference, estimate date, and this is like one step before having a project name. So if you don't have a project, you can simply create it for one for what kind of estimate it's going to be. I won't really get into this, but you just add a project name. So let's say it's going to be YouTube project customer billing method. It's going to be fixed Fox for the project. You can go based on hours, task hours or for the project 10,000. And then just task name and adding the description here. Save and select. YouTube video. Then, and then you can email to and save and send. And you can send it to someone. Let's see. Or what you can do is just like download it. Look at this. You just like download it, click here, and you can get the PDF and send it with Gmail account. That's what you can do too. That's a pretty good way how we can uh, work with Zoho invoice. So you click here on a PDF. You open the PDF and you send the estimate. And they're like, all right, that's okay. And what you then need to do is to convert it to invoice. So next to the attach a file, you're going to have convert to invoice. Click on it. And here, select the fields in an estimate that you'd like to retain when you convert it to invoice, customer notes, terms and condition address. Save and continue. So that's like up to you. And then voila, you got an invoice. And you can easily... Um, like send it to the customer or you can download it as a PDF and then just have it. So this is how we do it and this is how we work with it. Then what you can do, of course, is to add purchases and you can even add it here. So let's say that you like to add expenses. You can come here and record an expense. And this is really similar. Uh, this is good for accounting and you can drop, drop and file. So you, when you're going to have a receipt from the store, from the restaurant, category name, I can get meals and entertainment, 20 euro, reference, restaurant, eating at restaurant, and cust customer name, Sun Company, project, if you have project, just choose it for what kind of project it was, right? Then save and look at this this is what we have here as expense and i could again print it i could have it at my zoho invoice that's like similar to accounting software right or i can record expense and also record mileage you can do it and that's pretty much it so this is pretty much it how you do it and there's the same thing guys with the recurring expenses on the purchases So that's pretty much how we do it recurring and how often you want to have it recurring. Let's say I go for lunch every week for 50 euro or like coffee for 10 euro. It's always the same, right? So this is how we do it. Record every week, two weeks, month, two months. And yeah, then the last thing is if you would have been general, you can add users items. And you can also lock the time here. And you lock entry. So again, you to project, task name, I can add a task. But this is not really a YouTube, uh, it's not like invoicing anymore. This is just additional features that you're going to have in Zoho invoice. Time spent five hours, let's say. And save. Or what you can do is just start timer. See? And okay, I'm going for five hours and more right now. So I added five hours and right now I'm going to work even more for the project. And this is pretty much it how we do it. And this is how we can work with Zoho Invoice. This was guys tutorial for Zoho Invoice, Zoho tutorial, how to use Zoho Invoice, Zoho Invoice beginner's guide, Zoho Invoice for uh, beginners, 
Zoho Invoice 2021, Zoho Invoice Tutorial, Zoho Invoice Beginner's Guide, Zoho Invoice How to Use. Thank you very much guys for watching and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.